Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be filming the mommy confessions tag. Danielle from Danielle Gets It Done tagged me in this video the other day and I absolutely love her channel. If you aren't subscribed to her, make sure and go check her out. So I thought I would go ahead and do this tag. It looked pretty fun. Um, I am gonna tag a few people. I'll tag three people. I'll tag Caitlin from Mommy in the Making, Lauren Meagley, and Brandy from Curvy Mommy Glam. So y'all make sure and do this tag too. So let's go ahead and get started because there's 25 questions. So the first one is you're standing with another mom at the playground and notice her underwear is showing. Do you tell her, what do you say? Um, yes, I would tell her as long as she looks nice. If she looks like grumpy and is yelling at her kids, I'm gonna let karma run its course, you know? <laughs> but if she's just like quiet or smiling or just like looks like a nice person, I would tell her and I would just be like, hey girl, I'm so sorry, but um, I just wanna let you know your underwear is showing. I don't want you to like walk around like that. So um, that's what I would say. I would hope someone would do the same for me too. Um, number two, if you had a 25 hour day and everyone else still only had 24, what would you do with the extra time? Honestly, I would probably just sit in the quiet and enjoy it being quiet. <laughs> I know that sounds really lame. Like I would just probably lay in bed, light a candle and just, play some music or look at my phone and just enjoy the silence. <laughs> um, number three, is there a food that you think is really gross, but you make your kids eat it because it's good for them? Um, no, I'm like the world's most non picky person. The only food that I like absolutely detest is yogurt. Um, everything else is okay. I guess I don't really love meatloaf or ketchup or anything, but if I was like starving, I would eat them. If I was starving, I would feed yogurt to my dog. <laughs> so no, not really. Um, number four, if you were stranded with your kids, what are three things if you, you'd you hope you'd have on hand? If I was stranded, um, it doesn't say stranded on an island or anything, but if I was stranded, I would hope I would have a cell phone to call for help or some other kind of like flares or something to get people to notice me, to give me help. Um, some kind of shelter for me and my child and um, like food and water if we didn't have it, if we did have it, um, something to do. Um, number five, what's kids show do you wish you could eliminate so that no mom ever has to sit through it again? Peppa Pig, I hate Peppa Pig. They're all so whiny and they snort all the time and it's so freaking annoying. I hate that show, so definitely Peppa Pig. Um, number six, at what age did your kids stop embarrassing you and you started to embarrass them? Um, my daughter's only three, so I haven't gotten the, the complete joy it is to embarrass your child yet. And she doesn't embarrass me like ever. Like she's strong willed, she'll throw fits. I mean, she's three, they all go through it. And I just let, let her run its course. Like you scream your head off home girl, like I'm gonna keep shopping. So she doesn't really embarrass me. I don't care if anyone stares. Um, number seven, what's something in your house that for some reason only a mom's eye can see? Everything, everything. I'll ask my husband or my daughter to go get something or they'll say they can't find something and I'll walk in a room and it's sitting right there and they couldn't find it. <laughs> um, number eight, what would you change about your favorite, favorite restaurant to make it more kid friendly? Um, my favorite restaurant is the Melting Pot and if you haven't been there, it's a fondue restaurant and they, they put like a stove on your table. So maybe just the fact that there wouldn't be like a stove there that the child could burn themselves on. <laughs> um, number nine, do you have a secret fear that you hide from your kids? Yes, I mean, she's three, so I don't get into like really deep stuff or deep fears and I probably never will. But I think as a mom, you're always scared that your kid will be kidnapped or taken from you or something bad will happen and you won't be able to save them. So, I mean, probably something like that. Number 10, if there was one mommy duty that you would never have to do again, what would it be? Probably bath time. I really don't like bath time. It's just like a whole ordeal and it's annoying. So probably that. Number 11, if someone showed up to your house unannounced, what's the one room you'd be embarrassed for them to go in? Our garage. <laughs> like rest of our house is fine. Um, it's usually really clean, but our garage is a freaking pit. So probably there, I don't let many people go in my garage. Um, number 12, describe a time when you did something really silly because of lack of sleep. 
I mean, a lot as a parent, especially when your kids are babies, you do a lot of silly things because of lack of sleep. Um, I don't know though, maybe just like forgetting something or going out and clothes that, like I have a lot of paint stained clothes from like painting our house or just like painting in general. So maybe like there's been times where I've just put those on and put my hair on top of my head with bags under my eyes and ran out the door to go grocery shopping. So I don't know, maybe something like that. Number 13, what's the last thing you bribed your kid to do? Um, I think clean her playroom. I feel like parenting is really just a fine line between bribery and threatening your child to listen. <laughs> um, number 14, what's something that you used to wear before you had kids that you wouldn't wear now? Um, I dress pretty much the same. I've always been like a jeans and band t-shirt, jeans, leggings and t-shirt girl. I've always been super casual, chucks, and I want to be comfortable. And I do all the same things now. That's just always been me, so. Number 15, what's the last thing you told your kid not to touch? Um, we were just at Walmart and she, she sees with her hands, I think every kid does, so probably just her touching something at Walmart. Number 16, if you could choose if your kids went to bed earlier at night or slept later in the morning, which would you pick? Um, slept later in the morning, I feel like I'm most productive. In the morning, like in the hours between seven and noon, I feel like I'm at my most productive. So probably sleep later so I could just get more things done. Number 17, what was harder for you, potty training or sleep training? Um, we didn't sleep train D, I was really against it and I still am, so um, I always just held her and gave her whatever she needed to go to sleep. So since I didn't sleep train, uh, maybe potty training, but even potty training hasn't been horrible. It hasn't been too hard. Um, number 18, if you could share three pieces of advice with your younger self before having kids, what would they be? Oh, give yourself some grace. There are gonna be things that you never said, that you said you would never do as a parent that you're gonna do. Everyone does it and I always say the best parent isn't even a parent. So definitely give yourself some grace. You're gonna do so many things like give her a binky and let her go to sleep with a, a sippy cup at night that you you never said you were gonna do. So give yourself some grace. Um, number two would be to go out on lots of date nights cause you won't be able to go on that many anymore. Um, and number three would be to work on your patience because your kid will test your patience. <laughs> um, number 19, what question might your kid ask that you're not ready to answer? Um, I, don't, I don't think anything. I'll, I'm always really open with my daughter, even if she is three, and I don't have any problems telling her anything. I mean, when she asks what sex is, I'm sure that's gonna be pretty awkward, but hopefully she's like a preteen when she asks me that, so I'll, be, I'll have time to prepare, but I mean, other than that, not really anything. I mean, I'm not scared to answer anything for her. Number 20, which household chore do you prefer your kid not to help out with? Um, probably wiping down the counters because she wants to spray the entire bottle everywhere. <laughs> so probably that. Number 21, would you rather the entire household get sick at all at once or one by one? Um, probably one by one because I don't know about your husband, but my husband, needs to be taken care of like crazy and then taking care of myself and my daughter on top of it sounds awful so probably one by one um 22 if you're rushing to go somewhere with your kid what are you most likely to forget um probably a water and a drink for my daughter um before we leave i always grab us each a drink and a snack and if i'm in a huge rush i'll forget number 23 what song or movie title best describes your experience as a mom this is a tough one um Crazy, I'm in too deep. <laughs> Probably crazy, because <laughs> motherhood makes you crazy. <laughs> um, number 24, what's the most embarrassing personal care item you've had to buy in a store? I don't really get embarrassed easy, but <laughs> one time, I think this was before I had kids, like, you know when you are graduated from high school and like some of the people you went to high school with are now like cashiers at the register. Have you ever just bought like a really embarrassing combo of things? Because I have. Um, I was making dinner that night and we also needed condoms. So I got a pound of hamburger meat and condoms. <laughs> and I wasn't embarrassed, but I was just like, it's been a while since I've seen you since high school. 
<laughs> Thanks for waking up my really weird items. Probably that, that was just funny. Number 25, what's one thing you've said to your kid that you never expected to say? Oh man, I'm, I'm generally pretty good about taking a minute if she stresses me out. And so I haven't said horrible things to her yet. Oh, maybe I have told her to leave me alone, that I need a minute. I never thought I'd say that as a parent or no, I don't want to smell your finger. I never thought I'd have to say that as a parent either. <laughs> that wraps us up. That's all of the questions. If you like this video, make sure and give it a big thumbs up as well as hit subscribe down below. Make sure and check out all those ladies channels I mentioned before when I was tagging people and when I was tagged. Um, if you want to do this video, I definitely tag you to do it as well. And that's it for today, guys. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you back here next time. Bye. Speed away from the holy mind.